Oh, hello. Hello. We are live. We are live from Kathy Weller's shower. Hello, everybody. We're in the shower right now. I, I, we are. I hope that I hope that Kathy can hear us over the loud. Let us know how we sound today. I'm trying something new with the audio. What do we sound like? Do we sound good? Do we sound like we're live from a shower? Let us know. Or You're... do we sound like we're live from New York? It's Saturday night. It's Friday night. Hey, um, you're all wrong. First of all, I asked in the comments, whoa, that's a lot of blank and asked you to fill in the blank. And the answers included, the answers included toasters, poodles, hamburglers, pasta, coffee, commission, spaghetti, beans, schmellies, schmellies, uh, and none of that is correct. Oh, sorry, Kathy's not in the shower yet. So. I'm glad we sound good. We're using a real mic this time. Holy Costa. crap, y'all are still wrong. Well, there are only 46 people. Did something happen? I sent the email. Did you guys open my email? If you're watching the replay and you're not on my email list. <laughs> Doesn't should. sound as crisp and clear as before. Really? Because the mic that we used before was like a $100 mic, and the mic we're using now is like... This one's optimized for stuff. I don't have an EQ going. Oh, you want to fix it? Yeah. You guys want us to fix it real quick, and then we'll get... If you're watching yeah. the replay, just like maybe boop, boop, boop ahead just a I little bit. I don't have the pro version of the software we use because it's like another $200 a year, and I didn't want to pay that much to have an audio EQ. Everything mm -hmm. else is like sports broadcasting stuff. Mm. I know the video looks good today, though. I spent some time on that. Mm. Move the mic over here, and then we un... Oh, nope. All right. Now you should be able to hear us, and it should be clear and concise and... Bleh. Let us know if it sounds better. Crystal said it sounds great, but does it sound better now? Don't change it. She said don't change it. We'll, c we'll compare. Compare it yeah, now. Yeah, compare it. Compare it now. Now let us know what it is. Does it, does, did the first one sound right, or did the second one sound better? The video quality is amazing. Oh, no, can they see my pores? I I was nuts with the video today. I did a lot of editing you on don't, the quality. You don't want video quality to be that good, because then you can see things <laughs> like nose hairs. We're louder. Sounds better. Better now. Okay, so I, need to, I need to... Same. Yeah, I need second. to get a better... Uh, mic set up not the actual mic but everything it plugs into first one second but they said that it's loud can you make it not loud they have volume oh. they can adjust their volume down all right guys happy friday sorry for all the setup stuff we're uh, we're working on our space and our tech and it's all experimenting you know and we're gonna be moving my desk way over there so Things are things are changing um, over the next few weeks. If if video ever seems funky or if there's a day when we don't sound as good, just just keep us posted. Let us know. We're testing a lot of things, trying to make improvements. So if things go backwards and they're not as good, make sure that you yeah. also let us know. Once once we get everything like fully set up and good to go, I'll probably just set a live stream just for experimenting where I've got headphones over here and I just go back and forth and listen to stuff and check stuff and then they can comment about how stupid I am and about how mad, funny it is that I'm getting mad yelling and throwing stuff. Sure. Sounds well, good. Sounds like a plan. Is everybody having a good Friday? Lisa says she has no sound. That's got to be on Lisa's end. Someone should tell Lisa that... Refresh. That, refresh. Refresh. First one sounded better to me. Amazing picture quality. Cool. We'll play with the mics a little bit. We'll stick to this one. That way we're not bouncing between them over but, and over. I mean, best case scenario, I would use both, but I'm not setting that up right now. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, so a couple little quick things before we get started, because we have lots of summer trends to talk about. Um, first of all, We've got a bunch of freebies down below. You probably already have them, but I'll go ahead and go through them anyway. We've got the Summer Survival Guide. For those who don't know already, uh, the summer and spring season slow down every year on Etsy. Last year was an anomaly because it was right you know, at the beginning of the pandemic and 
Everybody was stuck home and they were spending all their time online shopping. But this year things are resuming back to normal. So we're not going to see as much of that. The Summer Survival Guide is going to talk about things that you can do in the meantime to both get through the slow few months that we're all going to experience, and unless you sell bikinis or something. Um, and it's also going to talk about ways that you can prepare for when things start to pick back up in uh, September. Also, we have... Amber Marie's super great freebie if you are planning on selling wholesale and you want to make sure that you're able to keep your wholesale orders organized while also coming off as professional to the brands that you work with. There is a uh, Excel type document, a Google Doc that is linked down below. Make sure that you watch the video that Amber Marie recorded though or you're not going to know how to download it. All of that is included in that link. And then we also have our 2021 marketing calendars that are going to teach you when to market, where to market, uh, and what holidays to optimize for. And my SSAR five-star customer service swipe files, which are going to help you to get more good reviews, which is going to help you to rank higher in Etsy search because Etsy recommends shops to shoppers who already have good reviews and high listing quality scores. So you guys can read more about all those freebies on the pages that are linked down below. Just click the see more to expand out the description and you can find those all right are we good i think Th i think we're good are we gonna screen share now i need uh, to get one of those elgato things this drives me up. is the am answer meatballs i wish it was meatballs it it's not meatballs it's not meatballs. I can't believe with with all the people that we've had that nobody under nobody knows it. Amber knows what it is. She's just she's being not, a. She's not allowed to say. Though. Amber's just being a smarty, smarty, smart pants. Mm -hmm. All right. You know it's weird. Our trends used to be our most popular videos, and now we only we only have 120 people here today. We we're gonna do a Mailchimp boot where we're gonna kick everybody off the list who doesn't <laughs> open our emails. So you, you know who you are. If you're not opening our emails, you're gonna miss the free stuff. Here you go. Couple people got it. They're, tamales. Dang, tamales. That's a lot of tamales. That's a lot of tamales, guys. Amber said thunderous keyboard. Yep, that's the mechanical keyboard life, yo. All right, let's go ahead and give us that full screen. Whoa. Whoa. I love that wipe effect. I wish I could program a bunch of different ones, but you can only have one set at a time. I don't, I don't know what you're doing. I'm in a little box. You, you did make the screen small, right? Yeah. Oh. It would have been really funny if I didn't, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So I like to use Target.com. Even if you are in a country where you do not have Target, you can still steal trendy ideas from Target.com. I talk about this in every trend video because Target seems to know about trends before... Anybody else? I don't know if they invent the trends or if they're really, really good at just deciding, you know, what's going to be big. But Target's the number one place that uh, I see trends kind of evolve. And then you usually see those trends translate over to other platforms such as Etsy, Amazon, uh, and, and so on. So I like to go to Target and then I go into the what's new category and then I go to Target finds. And what this is going to do is show you collections and themes for those collections. And when we look at this section, make sure that you're not just looking at the items, okay? You, you can get really caught up focusing on the items, but look at the backgrounds and the colors of the backgrounds as well. Because if you can't change your current products or you can't incorporate any of the themes that you see in these different photos, what you can do is look at the backgrounds and you can easily go in and remove your backgrounds and then incorporate in some of the colors and themes for marketing photos. Um, I, I would avoid doing you know, super crazy edits on your actual mm -hmm. listing thumbnails. But for marketing photos, it's a really great way to see what colors uh, are, are popular and trending. You know, I've also noticed that a lot of what they're doing with colors this year is almost, they're like the same colors that, that uh, they were using for the pastels, like the same like color hacks, but sparkly. Yeah. Like everything is just like the pastel colors, but with sparkles this year or with like a white uh, smear into it. So this was just added. This wasn't even here yesterday when I looked, so that's cool. So we'll go ahead and pop open this collection. And, ooh, we've got Celestial Trends. So we've got lots of pastels, tie-dyes, crystals, 
um, look at the backgrounds and the colors. We've got almost like a peachy orange and pink background on these. Mm -hmm. and, and it's almost like Instagram's logo colors. Um, seeing lots of gold accenting. We've got moon phases, lots of moons and constellations, astrological signs, crystals, geometrics. Um, this store your jewels and gems is it a is it a container yeah it looks it's like, like it's some sort of storage bin like stone we have glittery looks like uh like body glitters i know we've got please quite... please use environment safe glitter if you make glitter products please use glitter that's like paper yeah and make sure that you don't ever market uh glitter for eyes yeah you could actually get canceled for using real <laughs> glitter so just be real careful very careful with the glitters lots of gold right now sherbet tons of gold tarot cards galaxy bath bomb astrology dictionary so you guys are getting it, right? You're getting the, the vibes of this trend. We've what, in, what in particular made the like astrology and gemstones big this year? Like well, I know it's been like growing for a couple of years, but it really seems like it exploded this year. Well, last year I noticed <clears throat> that the trend almost all year was the very like um, seven, the very 60s, 70s, 80s. Um, Positive vibes kind of well, things. Well, yeah, and, and um, the old school like palm reading uh like neon signs the you know you know what i'm talking about yeah, like got that that got big and now we're going more into like, like downtown ash. downtown city theme yeah like and it, it's got like you know it's kind of evolved from the boho but look we've got a lava lamp come on rose gold i'm i'm feeling like 80s and 90s vibes big time got some some rainbow silverware it's the, the what, hippie Hippie theme. Hippie, boho. I don't think it's hippie. My 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 family's hippies and this is Star, not hippie. Star Child. Star Child, yeah. Not not quite hippie, but also not quite not hippie. Alright, so we'll go ahead and move from Made people this buy my theme. gemstones to get through twenty twenty. Yeah, I get it, man. Last year sucked. <laughs> last year was an awful year. Of of all the years to become a hippie, I think last year would have been the year to do it. And speaking of which, we have eco-friendly switches. This kind of yes. goes around with our please don't use uh, please don't use glitter. Mark Mark seems all like Mister Mister Rar Rar Rar. No, listen to metal, play guitar. Well, he's holding a cat, so I guess he's not that rah rah rah. But he's very he's very eco conscious. Mm -hmm. He's he's Mister doesn't use anything with chemicals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Party in the streets and gentlemen in the sheets. That's how well, it is. That, that was not applicable to yes, the situation. Yeah, it was. <laughs> we, I'm a nice guy in private, and I'm tough in public. That's how it is. That's not what that means. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's what I mean it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, moving on. Um, the eco swap thing is big right now. Taking a product that is average and then finding a way to swap it for something eco-friendly. I know that we have a lot of alphas who make washable things like washable paper towels, um, face masks that can, you know, like the ones that you, sh the sheet masks, that's mm -hmm. what I'm thinking, um, that can be washed and then you can just apply product to the new ones um, and, and things like that. So look at, once again, the colors that we're seeing in the backgrounds. I really like how we've got like these blue, 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 green, green and then there's this pop of of yellow in here really nice palettes seeing a lot of things made with bamboo um is that a uh, a soap like drain yeah um soap scum stopper yeah um, scum stopper let's see a lot of a lot of just eco-friendly stuff that's Look that's that's becoming big uh, a lot of people started to focus on the eco-friendly stuff being stuck home last year everybody mm -hmm. was having to order stuff at home and i think a lot of people are starting to understand the science that we, we know it's not called global warming anymore but we do know that we're making an impact on the planet now so right we a lot of people are being more conscious of that we've got um <clears throat> ooh, recyclable and made from pre-loved dog toys so dog toys made okay. from old dog toys yeah but notice, look at the packaging on these as well. Misto. It, 
it's almost all very simple text and fonts and very bold um and and it's almost all the same color palettes as well so that goes back to that like 70s kind of theme everything's going back to the very clean plain simple and i think it's because companies are starting to realize that like other like big name companies have been really really good at marketing to people they know every little marketing tactic, how to how to put things on paper and how to put things on the products to make them sellable. Like you look at a label and there's something on there for every kind of person. Right. Everything that you could want to look for as a person is usually on the label for the products you're looking for. And it adds to this like marketing saturation exhaustion that we all get. And I think that that's what these guys are starting to appeal to. They want to put the least amount of stuff on the package. So, like, you just see it. It is exactly... Even if it's not that... This is one thing you kind of got to look out for. Like, with the, like, natural products, they'll theme themselves like that. And the whole point of that minimalist is to be, like, that natural kind of mindset. But even big name brands are starting to catch on. So, just do your research before you buy stuff. All right. So, next one, we're going to go into the Mother's Day section. And one thing that I've noticed... Look at these, look at the JBLs. They are mm-hmm. in beige. Beige is huge this year. Look like rose gold from here. Well, th- this is rose gold, but look, rose gold beige, beige. Yeah. We've got a beige, one of the, the letter boards. Beige is huge right now. And I have a feeling that beige is going to be like this summer's color. But also look at the background. Everything here is purple. Purple, purple, purple. purple. And look, a little bit of beige here. So we've got rose gold, beige, more beige and gold, uh, more rose gold, more beige. We've got kind of a dusty pink. More kind of a beigeish, beigeish rose gold. That's like that must be just the color. Pink. Pink. A little bit of that faded pink. Peach. So, there you go. Peachy, dusty pink, <clears throat> dusty rose, whatever. Um. That that one kind of sticks out. I think they kind of goofed with that a little bit. Yeah, that's a little harsh compared to everything else on the it's screen. It's like kind of a maroon color. Mm-hmm. I mean, they've got a white one too. <laughs> Dulcie said, "Know your color wheel." <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. We've got adult coloring, so I know that we've got a lot of alphas who do adult coloring. I'm noticing that designs with a watercolor like theme have been really big lately. You can kind of see it here and uh, in this the cover of this journal. So lots of good ideas here. But you guys, can you feel it? Are you able to feel the vibes? Let's see what else do we have looking for gifts that go beyond the expected the, i like these sections because they give you like funky stuff you yeah. know like the weird obscure things Ooh, boy ready to get down. all right we've got those colors again look are those beige beets ew Be- beige beets he hates beets i do overrated these um this style of uh of welcome mat I can't, what are these called, guys? The the tweed. like the no, not tweed. It's like bristly. Those are huge. Um, I get one like every holiday. <laughs> Juju soaking in the pastel vibes right now. Yes. Know, right? All right. We already did. Mom. Wow. These are all broken down. They've broken these down way more. Good. Let's um. Hmm, I don't even know where to start. Let's pop into wedding and see what's popular in wedding. What are people commenting right now? Sissel. Sissel mats. Oh, okay. And a couple people say core. No, C-O-I-R. I don't, I don't want a registry. How do I close you? I don't want one. Oh, I can just scroll past that. Okay. Makes me want a creamsicle. Yeah, me too. When you go into um, weddings, I guess it just takes you into registries. But what I recommend, if you're in the home decor section or in the, um, I'm sorry, in the home decor um, niche for your products, go in and look at some of these these home themes because you can really look and see what your products would fit into. And you can see a lot of things like theming colors and patterns. For example, in this 
opal house one, you can see that these big uh, palm leaves in that emerald tone are really, really big. And, and this really gives you a nice view and perspective of what trendy homes look like right now. Because last year, it was all like farmhouse that was mm -hmm. big. And I'm noticing that we're kind of moving away from that. <laughs> from farmhouse to townhouse. Yeah, it's going, it's going very, very 70s right now. Um, but... Let's Christina said that mat is called core. It's a coconut fiber. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, yes, Chris, the curfume sickle. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, we already did Mother's Day, so let's go ahead and look at gardening. Once again, we're seeing those exact same pinks. We're seeing adult coloring. Our target has literally all of these things back in the yeah. garden section, that tool set. Um, times. The wicker <laughs> has been huge. Oh, it's concrete, but wicker is, is big. I've noticed that, too. We went to the outdoor store the other day, and it was a lot of, like, not concrete things made out of concrete. Yeah, like a and hat. The there was a like a wicker hat and a wicker handbag any, anybody that's more into the like renewable stuff is there is there a renewable purpose behind that because to my knowledge concrete isn't really a renewable resource i mean it can be chunked and thrown in as, as bits but it's got to be better than like plastic though i don't know it's a semi-permanent thing um noticing a lot of the same colors and themes like see this uh this kind of off-white and blue and big bold patterns lots of pottery in the garden um i also noticed this year that um pattern or not patterns textures we talked about yeah. textures a lot last year how textures on the couch were really big having a lot of pillows of different fabrics and textures on your couch were big and now i'm seeing that for outdoor furniture as well we're seeing the pom-poms and and the different little tassels and things for outdoor so just some ideas there. Um, if you do print on demand, be sure to look at some of the designs that are trending on things like pillows, because I know that you guys can do your own uh, print on demand pillows. Lots of candles. Gnomes have been bird huge. Bird watching stuff. Love how they pair the binoculars right next to the bird feeder. Yeah. And it's got that, there's that dusty pink color again. So, you guys getting, are you guys getting ideas? Is Deb it? said wicker's using trees, so using concrete is permanent and also uh -huh. heavy, so it doesn't blow away or rot. Yeah, I, I get that. I just don't, I don't know if, like, filling the place of trees with concrete is necessarily a good thing either. Let's see. Ooh, I love this theme, guys. Look at this purple and how they put the yellow over top. That is a mm -hmm. really nice contrast. It's an awesome contrast. It's very, very eye-catching. Makes eye the yellow, like, pop. Right. Um, lots of shades of this blue kind of. I will say together. we say things like that, but for people that are editing their pictures, Etsy has an almost all white background, so be careful with using colors like purple and stuff like that for your pictures because it can it can come off as a little bit abrasive. So just use use colors tastefully. Yeah, and and this is like good for marketing, you know, marketing photos are great on these on these bright backgrounds and. Yeah. Uh, I would also say that if you're sending emails to your email list, those nice bold backgrounds yeah. are very eye-catching. Yeah, they are. Let's see. Lots and lots with the gemstone uh, skin care this year. You know, I'm not much for the face rollers, but the actual wedges are great for, like, traps. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, you can get your traps loose with those things. Ooh, there we go. We can look kind of through the jewelry section. We've got some different stones. Lots of gold this year. Lots and lots of gold and rose gold. I, I think that for a long time, gold and rose gold were like out of style and everybody mm -hmm. wanted silvers and now gold and rose gold are coming back. So for all of our jewelry alphas. All right. Is there anything else in... Hey. Oh, yeah. I wanted to go into Target Trends as well. All right, the last area that we're going to visit on Target, and, and guys, make sure that you spend some time doing this on your own as well. It's just Target.com and then go to Finds um, because you can explore endlessly on here and, and put yep. some things together. I could I could 
sit here for six hours showing you things. But next thing that I want to go to is their actual trends section, which is where people have actually uh, posted on Instagram and Target has showcased their photos. So these are things that people are actually purchasing from Target. And this is one of my favorite ways to see trends because don't just, don't just look at what they're wearing or the people themselves. Look at what else the types of people have in their homes because if you make these dresses, it might be a good thing to notice that there is a uh, like a longhorn skull hanging in the background yeah. over top of this I like Wicker I, I like the rest of their website because it's what Target tries to, I, I think, Target tries to push as like their trends. But this will give you a better idea of what people are actually getting that Target thinks is interesting that they can provide for. So this, I, in my opinion, is a better place to look. Yeah. This is probably the best place to look for getting ideas. Elizabeth said, is Target still selling Little House on the Prairie dresses? I bought two dresses that I didn't know were going to be Little House on the Prairie dresses from Target.com. And then they were. The, and I didn't realize that they were going to be puffy shoulders. And I have very wide shoulders, and I just look like this. So, uh, yeah, puffy shoulders are very Ugh. big this year. Big puffy shoulders. Not a fan. Um, let's do a little bit of scrolling and see what we can find. Seeing lots of patterns. And it, you'll notice that the clothing is leaning very, um, it, it's almost like not a particular year. It's just 70s, 80s, and 90s, especially mm -hmm. 70s and 90s, I, I think is <laughs> very like big. Anything other than now. <laughs> yeah. Squarela. Any, squ squarela. <laughs> Is that my new name? That's an angry. That is an angry baby. He's angry. He very angry. He very angry baby. Let's see. Um, Target really likes this one particular woman. Oh wow, she's in four different photos. In I wonder. A row. Okay, so here's here's something interesting. Look at the the couch. We're seeing that yellow. Remember, our colors of the year this year are yellow and gray, and it appears that she's got. Are these gray or are they brown? They look gray, gray and yellow, because our colors of the year from Pantone are illuminating, and uh, I can't remember what the gray color is, but it's like a lightish gray. Gray and yellow. Gray and yellow. Yeah. Is that a is that a bikini with shoulders on it? It is a bikini. That's actually kind of cute. You want me to get a shoulder bikini so I can be? It looks kind of cute. You got muscular shoulders. That wouldn't look right on you. Oh, I'm s so sh okay. Okay, so other girls can be cute, but I can't be cute with my big puffy shoulders. I That's see not how what it. I said you have muscular shoulders. Show off what you got. I'm gonna show off my muscular shoulders. <laughs> this is us, why, guys. Why did why did why did why? Why do we do this? <laughs> These are very interesting. You're, we have a couple restaurants um, in town that their whole ceiling mm -hmm. is paneled with these, like Melt and. Uh, the one that shut down by Rusty Taco, they they had big ceiling panels like this. We've got people that the, those are you photo that people uploaded, real people, not models. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. These are from, they're from Instagram, and their Target takes them from Instagram and sticks them on their website. Right. We're not we're not talking about the people. We're just saying that Target happened to align four of the the same exact person in the feed and i do believe that target hand selects what goes in this section <laughs> because good. otherwise there would be things not from target where people just kind of spam the target hashtag. oh yeah i would do that for sure it's okay starla you don't need arm floaties yeah she does she can't swim i'm not a good swimmer at all <laughs> all right so short i am short We've got some line art flowers. Um, last year, this was a big color trend. Mm. The the gold along with this um, blue. this dark color. Blue. Yeah, it's like a dark, dusty blue. And round mirrors, guys, in bathrooms is big this year. So I don't I don't think any of you guys make mirrors, but maybe how, how often do people redecorate their bathrooms to fit a trend? Is that a common thing? I, Does anybody here redecorate their bathroom every year? Like paint and mirrors and everything? Yeah, but people, maybe somebody who like designs houses for to sell. People mm -hmm. in real estate, they want to make sure that, that the house is trendy. Yeah. Is that a cat in a denim jacket? Oh, no. Come bubblers, get a denim jacket. That only works because he's big and fluffy and white. He's big and fluffy. I want a denim jacket. Um, short... Man. Shorts with the lace along the bottoms. That's also really, really popular right now. I just bought our daughter a pair of those. But the 
Target, this section actually wasn't as inspiring this time around as it mm -hmm. normally is. Um, normally, it's still kind of early. It's not quite. It's yeah. not quite oh, summer trends time, but home. they're getting there. Did you derp? No, you I. Did. I was looking at the full feed. You can you can do it by category now. Wow, that's a beautiful lamp. Gotcha. That is beautiful. Um, fruit slices, rainbows, leopard print. These little like hitch trailers are so trendy right now. I have a bunch of them in my garden, like little garden stakes of these little hitch trailers. So when it comes to like symbolism for summer, that might be that might be the thing this year. We've got little pineapples, more of those watercolor flowers that we talked about. Lots of wood accents. Wood is really big, especially alongside gold. Now, if y'all know how to recycle wood and you have like extra uh, resources laying around, do it. You can make some pretty cool stuff out of recycled wood. Round mirrors, more spots, stripes. We have these carrots. We do All have right. those carrots. Now we're into Easter, so let's move. We already did clothing. Just for fun, we'll go into kids, because I don't think that we've done kids very much. We've got very 70s. Look at that little outfit and those little rainbow stripes. We've got tie-dye. It's probably going to be a lot of Easter Gina stuff. Asked, does anybody tie -dye, notice what tie -dye. animals are in? Like flamingos. I haven't really seen a whole lot with animals this year. Hmm, a good place to check is in the kids' sections. Oh my god, look at that little Johnny Cash shirt. Obviously, you guys can't do that, but... Did we look at weddings? No, for some reason, it's trying to get us to log in to start a registry when we do that. So you yeah. might actually have to log in and start an account to do that. Well, the thing about weddings with Target is that Target's going to show you things that people... Target doesn't sell, like, wedding decor, so it's mainly going to be registry items. Let's check E-Rank for things like that. But, guys, dive into Target a little bit more. Go to the What's New tab and click Target Finds. You can find this exact page, and you can go into Trends to look more at photos that actual people are posting if you're interested in diving in a little bit deeper because you can, you can find all kinds of stuff, and you can go down to the bottom and look at even more categories down here. If you're trying to find animals that are trendy, I highly recommend looking at children's bedrooms, children's clothing, children's birthday parties, and um, baby showers. Because even if you don't make products for those themes, those are where you're going to see a lot of those animals kind of, you know, being showcased. Dulcie said, thought I saw some llamas for Easter. I don't think llamas really went out. I don't either. Llamas have been really big for a couple of years. I'm not so seeing them as I'm much. I'm not seeing them as much, but if if you've got some extra llamas that you'll probably be able to, to ride it out for at least another year if they go out of style, because people will still be kind of obsessed with them. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know if they'll continue to be a trend. I was going to pop and see if... <laughs> Maybe, let me pop into this section and this section and see if there are any animals. Life straw, because they know people are going to be hiking this year. <laughs> Unicorn, Star Trek cats, dogs, um, dinosaurs are big right now. I will say that dinosaurs and unicorns are you still know why? very big. I think dinosaurs are really big because of Elon Musk. Oh. Him, he made that statement talking about how they're pretty sure they could clone a dinosaur. That's do you do you guys want Jurassic Park because that's how you get Jurassic Park. Yes. All right, let's hop over <laughs> to E Rank. If you have an E Rank Basic or Pro membership, you will be able to see a lot more data than those of you who have free memberships. If you have a free membership, you can see the first few search results. So feel free to dive in um, and, and take a look. What you want to do is go to the Trends tab, visit the Monthly Trends under the Trend Buzz Report. That's this right here. And this is going to show you the top 100 items that were most searched on Etsy last month. Around the uh, anywhere between the 4th and 7th of each month, we update the data at erank.com so that you guys can make sure that you're getting the the most relevant info so uh anything with a flame icon next to it was especially hot yesterday so fire. be it was fire so make sure that you're you're mindful of the things that have the flame but uh in april it looks like the most searched items were wall decor which still if you look here it looks like august 
September and October, it was even trendier. Um, earrings have been huge for some reason. I, I don't know why. Just out of nowhere, earrings are the hot thing. I think literally anything that people can show off getting back out into public. Things that are just quick Or their and Zoom meetings. Yeah, that's true. Because they've been trendy since the, since the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Zoom meetings. Yeah, you can see that they really started to trend up as the year went along. Yeah. Uh, personalized gifts. That one has been big for a while. Self-care. Yeah. Uh, rings. We can go ahead and skip Easter, obviously. Crystals. Personalized gifts for mom. We've got Mother's Day on the rise. Necklaces, candles, stickers, women's clothing. Moldavite's still big. Moldavite's been big for a while. Um, People learn one scientific term and then it gets popular. Just make sure that you're... we. We've seen a lot of people get in trouble for claiming that they're using Moldavite, but you have to be able to certify that it's real. Moldavite's a pretty rare resource. So. I mean, it's not rare, but it's rare enough. Lots of Mother's Day items. Press on nails. Pokemon, don't use any copyright terms. SPs. Weddings. Anime. No Harry Potter. No Harry Potter, don't nope. use that. No Animal Crossing. Harry Styles. Bachelorette parties. Look at that. Look at that trend graph. That's wild that it was that trendy, even though, like, people shouldn't have been having them. <laughs> well, you know. Self-defense keychain. I don't think Fre you can sell on Etsy. Freeze-dried gummy worms? What? Why is that suddenly... Look at the graph. Hold up. That's got to be an anomaly. Google that one. The world is a freeze-dried gummy worm. Probably a YouTuber featured it or something. Ew, that doesn't sound good. I don't know. Having a gummy worm that just kind of poofs. All right, let's go ahead. No, they're a thing, and they're on Etsy. Oh. You know what I bet they are? I bet they're not actually gummy worms. I bet that they're like a cereal-style puff, and I understand that because you could make them vegetarian and vegan. Because you can't make gummy worms vegetarian and vegan. Because they use gelatin. Because they use gelatin. Let us know if you guys know. know. I'm looking it up. You keep doing your thing. Uh, I sell press on nails. The hardest thing about SEO is finding different terms for nail. Don't try to find a hundred ways to describe nail. Think more about the person that is trying to buy it. Because nail, you only need to say one time. Nobody's going to call them anything other than nails. You need to think more about the colors of the nails and the occasion that somebody would buy them for. I know that when I'm buying, because I only wear press on nails, um, when I'm buying nails, I search specifically for a style. So, for example, I really wanted to find nails um, a couple months ago that looked like China, like white with the blue designs. And I searched, like, China nails, white-blue nails, white-blue China nails. Uh, pot I think I searched China and then pottery nails, just trying to narrow that search down. So think a little bit more about the colors that you're using and the occasion. If you're doing anything white, you could do wedding nails, bridal nails, party nails, and, and things like that. So freeze-dried candy's huge on Etsy right now, and they freeze-dry everything. They're big on TikTok, is yeah. what Ginger said. Skittles, Sweet Tarts, Jolly Ranchers, Original Carrot, the little candies in the carrots. Oh. Yeah, apparently. And that's just the regular candy. Starburst, they just freeze dry them and it pulls all the moisture out and turns them into crunchy, crispy treats. If you that's do, wild. If you do print on demand, is TikTok even worth it? I've been building my Pinterest and Instagram. I'd hate to start it on another platform though it's tempting since etsy is on it well i don't know so she's been shush shush never mind shush shush don't watch surprises shush shush shush, shush. i she's shush. nothing nothing happened well, stay subscribed don't go don't go anywhere okay don't you go nowhere. We're gonna... I mean, get food. Do well, that. Eat, and drink water. Go to the bathroom and do things like that. But over the next few months, just keep... Keep, keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. We might We're be talking... stuff. We might be talking about those things. All right. Um, so, what's a good niche? Let's go ahead and look at it. You almost slipped. I didn't slip nothing. I'm sitting down. <laughs> Don't yeah. click adult. I'm not going to click adult. That's for... That we... would have been a real good way to get our stream shushed. We only do adult section on Alpha's After Dark, which we haven't scheduled in a while. Let's... We'll do that soon, guys. I know we keep saying that, but we will do that soon. Let's check jewelry, because I think that 
All right, I'll do jewelry and then give us like two more categories and we'll do a quick overview of trending items in those Honestly, categories. Honestly, most of this stuff has been almost the same as it was last year, you if can, I'm totally honest. Yeah, like look at rings. Boop. Um, earrings, rings, crystals, necklaces, Moldavite, bridesmaid gifts. Keep in mind, guys, people who weren't able to have weddings last year are going to want to have their weddings this year. So if you do, for example, if you make masks and you've noticed that your sales are lacking because most people already have a, a ton of masks, think about about all the brides that are getting married and are going to want matching masks for their bridesmaid dresses or maybe a bridal mask with crystals and things on it. Think about all the events that are going to be taking place where people are going to wear their masks. Malachite. Let's see, crystal necklace, which we kind of saw the crystals on Target, Moldavite. Crystals just, just, crystals are big. Rose quartz, notice that a lot on Target as well. Um, and guys, something else that you want to also make sure that you're doing is make sure that you also select some of these date ranges from last year. What was trendy in jewelry in June of last year? And once again, they're kind of the same. Earrings, crystals, bridesmaid, lesbian jewelry. That was the one that uh, was super trendy out of nowhere and mm -hmm. having to... I think... I think it's because acceptance is becoming such a huge thing. Right. And I understand that, like, it's still really hard for gay men mm -hmm. to be socially accepted. But I think the whole, like, women's empowerment thing has really helped at least the, the lesbian side of things quite right. a bit. Because I have quite a few female friends who have come out. Right. You see social media is full of it. And it's 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 wonderful. So I think, honestly, that's that's probably one of the reasons. If there's a specific reason, somebody let me know. But it's it's definitely been big. Yeah, and I mean, we're still seeing we're still seeing a lot in in I, maybe maybe it's more that women tend to talk about it more, and because women, it I think be, women I are are I think very expressive, and I, and this is just our experiences. You know, we're just talking about people that that we know. And I notice that the females on that I'm close to, um, they tend to talk about it a lot more than than our male friends. And I could be wrong, but I believe they're a little less subject to like mm -hmm. scrutiny from their other female friends for being that way. Whereas a guy coming out as gay right, lose most of his male friends. Right, and that's so. what's and that's what's very very hard. So, but yeah. Anyway. <laughs> June but is yeah, Pride June, Month. Yes, June is Pride Month. I thought that... I thought. I thought that October was Pride Month. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that October is Pride Month. June a lot of is when a lot of Pride Fests take place, but I'm pretty sure that October is Pride Month. <laughs> Do you think the pandemic nearly in... This pandemic nearing end, hopefully, will be affecting enrollment this year in Asia? I don't know. We thought it would last year, but last year we had the best enrollments we've ever had. Yeah. So I don't, to be honest, it's random. I don't know. No, I, I, I think that everything will be exactly I the same. It'll be exactly the same. I, if anything, June will probably be our slow one, and then winter will be fine. It's a, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We'll survive either way. June is pride. Oh. June is pride. Amber said every month is pride month. Exactly. Yeah. I thought for sure that it was October. What's October? There's something in October, too. That might be something uh, King and... And poor Amina asked a question twice. She asked it earlier, too. Oh, what was it? question about jewelry, about using gold as a color in tags and titles when using gold-filled material. Yay, nay, misleading or not. It's No, because I think that, it, well, don't use it in your materials. Use it in your attributes and your colors. Um, but don't use gold as a material because it's not gold. You could say yeah. gold-filled as material. Just uh, Colors, you can use gold as a color because it's still being honest, but using it as a material is, is a lie. So just do what you feel, do what you think is honest when it comes to labeling your products. Canada, October is LGTP History Month. Oh. It's Breast Cancer Month here, though. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I did, when I was doing our calendar, there's something in October, and I can't it, I remember. mean, if you're in Canada, just be nice to people always. I thought that was the rule. I think our Canadian friends will disagree. All right, let's go ahead and go back to the all category because I, I didn't filter by June 2020, and I just want to see uh, if there's anything else that we should be taking note of. Father's Day, that's another big one. Personalized gifts has stayed big. Um, masks were still in the top five. 
um, BLM, uh, face mask, washable masks, self-care. Other than masks, everything is pretty much the same. Yeah. Harry Styles, who's just been trending for the last, like, three years in E-Rank for some reason. Um, wall art, press on nails again because it's summer. People want want to look nice. Um, yeah, I think it's all very predictable. Starbucks cup. If you guys make any type of like refillable cups, be careful using trademark names like Starbucks. I know that um, that you're trying to do a good thing, but I would hate to be sued by Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> that would that sounds like something Starbucks. Would Starbucks do. has the power. All right, guys. Well, feel free to do a little bit of your own searching. Oh, I did tell them that I would do one more section. What'd they say? We got home decor, wall art, wall decor, home and living. So home and living. All right. Is wall decor its own thing? I don't think it is. So just home and living. Where's it at? There it is. Okay. The one that says home and living. Can you scroll the text back down, please? Thank Sorry. You. All right. Um, Father's Day gift. That's weird for home and living, though. I guess I guess you could do dad, like wall art type home decor, wall decor, outdoor Father's Day, Father's Day gift from daughter. That's a really great long tail keyword. It's very specific. Yeah, that's the that's dad a great is a little one. bit lacking on that one. Well, I think it's just because it's so so specific. Right. Just be aware when you search terms like this. I had, I had a discussion with Anthony about this, and we are working on it, but. When you use terms, if you're searching terms that are that specific, there's a very good chance you're not going to get data for it. And look at the searches. April 2020, it got 2,246 searches. And then right... It's when, because it's a specific thing. Yeah, and then May, it shot up to 42,747. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the kind of term that will only be used around in those that two time. months. You look at actually Father's Day, too, above that as well. It's the exact same story. Yeah. Except it's two months later. So, Yeah. Candles, plants, tarot desk. Change deck. your date. You're on June 2020. Yeah, we're doing that on purpose because it's the summer trends video. Yeah, June. You want to look at what was trendy around this time last year. That that's the whole mm. point. You want to look at June and July and August of last year so you can anticipate what's going to come back around. And because E rank does not update monthly, like or does not update in real time. So basically, right now, the most recent data that we have is for April, and then around the fourth, between the fourth and seventh of. Um, Oh, I'm sorry, we have March, because it's April now. We have mm -hmm. March data. And then around the, the 4th and 7th of May, we'll have April's data. So, Do you know how many of your students have survived this pandemic? Last stats, I saw that 60% of small businesses have shut down. Extremely sad. None of our alphas we don't, have quit. We don't, I don't well, think, no, so we don't focus on that stuff specifically. I do know that our last launch... We only had seven people refund, and I think all but one of them was COVID related. They had they lost oh, their job yeah. or something like that. But I mean, that's still for the amount of people that we had enrolled. That's still like less than five percent. So, yeah, I don't know. All right, guys. I think that we've ooh succulents are are another big one. <laughs> Rolling trays. Rolling trays have been trendy for. Ever since the pandemic because started. It's because legalization is right around the road and it should be legal already because it's legal in like a third of U.S. states. <laughs> like just. Uh, For... Hi, guys. Question. What if I move my and my IP address changes? Is Etsy going to shut down my shop? No. no. Uh, it's Etsy, constant changing it's of It's constant IP. changing. But, I mean, you could always just message them and let them know in advance. Like, yeah. It's not going to cause an issue. We moved all the way from California to Ohio. Yeah. It'll, it'll change if you if you change your internet service provider, if you get a new modem. I mean, there's there's all kinds of reasons that it changes. So. All right, March 2021 trends. We already did those at the start. Yes. But you guys are free to do it too. All you got to do is go to erank.com, go into uh, monthly trends right here under the trend report, and choose your category because there are 100 top 100 searches for each of the categories. Look at there freeze dried candy. Yep. This keyword was popular yesterday. Look at that trend graph, guys. Oh my goodness trend said legal in canada yeah it should be legal here but we have a 
a medical industry here that likes money, so it won't be for a while. Yeah. Wall decor, personalized gift. I am, uh, Linda, I am in, in 2021 in home decor, I think. Yeah. Um, it, it's all the same, though. Wall decor, personalized gift, personalized gifts for mom because we have Mother's Day right around the corner. Handmade furniture. That shot up out of nowhere. That's a that's a weird one. Mother's Day gift. I thought a rolling tray was a tray on wheels. <laughs> <No. laughs> that's exactly what it is. I mean, it's a tray that gets you rolling. <laughs> Wall art. Hey, uh, personalized gift. Neon signs are huge, and man, they're expensive. We thought about getting a neon what? sign. Neon signs, yeah, I would get it done custom. Engagement gifts. Wall tapestries, uh, porch decor. Wow, that one shot up as well. Yeah, it did. Groomsman gifts. That's not home. Starbucks cup, fabric, desk, Easter basket. Uh, plant pot. Plant pot. Um, the freeze-dried candy. That's not really home decor. Witchcraft. <laughs> it's just because it's hot. Incense holder. That's a, that's a mm -hmm. different one. Goes along with the rolling trays. And right. the grinder <laughs> goes along with the rolling trays. Um, Are we seeing a trend here? Libyan desert glass. That's ooh. very specific. That's, that's, again, it's one of those things that that just gets mentioned somewhere and explodes. Out yeah, of like a, a, someone on TikTok mentions it, or a celebrity mentions it, and then it just shoots up out of nowhere. Incense, dried <laughs> flowers, Spotify plaque. Those are huge right now with the code where you scan it with your phone and it starts to play the song on Spotify. It's got like its own little code so you could make a, like a necklace oh, and then gotcha. they scan it with their phone and it plays the song. The only thing is if the artist takes the song down, then you basically have something that doesn't work anymore. I mean, that's... Dulcie said that glass is like Moldavite. Oh, Okay. Metaphysical crystals, sunflowers. All right. I think that we're good. You want to go ahead and uh, stop screen sharing? Spotify, it's illegal. What is Spotify? Or using or using their... They'll come after you. Yeah, because it is a trademark. Yeah, don't just don't use the name Spotify. I mean, well, does the, do the... Do the, the shareable things. I mean, they can't copyright a shareable link. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to use their logo, but I don't it's know. Not a, it's not a link. I'm assuming it's a QR it is, scanner. It's like right? a QR thing, except... Can't, I don't think you can copyright or trademark a QR code, so... Yeah, you can. As long as you don't use the name or the artist's name, keep in mind that that's a two-fold problem. Yeah. I'm not sure using the link they from Spotify. They will come to use the link using the link from Spotify. Huh. Huh. We'll have to... Look into that because QR codes are QR codes and they're just... It's not QR though. It's... Because it... you can generate your own QR codes from any link. Yeah. All right. Anyway. anyway just not be... legal experts. Not legal experts. Be careful using anybody's brand name, entity, characters, uh, yada, yada. Can you stop sharing? No. Because we're tiny and I would like to be big now. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. We're big again. Hello. Just subscribe. You guys are amazing. We know. Thank you. <laughs> What's wrong with you? All right. Mark and I are going on a trip this week. We're not going to mention where we're going. For, nope, for our safety and for, yours. For our safety and, you, and yours. And yours. Um, so we'll be away for the weekend, but we will be back for the Friday Bean next week. Guys, if you have any additional questions, feel free to let us know. There are links down below to freebies. And Amber Marie and I are working on something super duper top secret. If you want to know how we market, if you want to see how somebody starts a business from scratch, or a brand from scratch, how they develop their branding, how they market, how they build uh, collection launches and teasers for those collections. Make sure that you keep your eyes peeled and sign up for the email list that is down below with the black hearts and the question mark. That is our brand new Alpha Dapt line that will be launching on May 8th. So if you do uh, subscribe, just Keep in mind that this is not just something that we're doing to sell. We are selling something, but you need to also be mindful that this is a lesson embedded within the we're selling something. Social experimentation. We're selling something, but we don't even want, we, we do want you to buy it, but we don't need you to buy it. 
we really just want you to learn from what we're doing because one of the number one questions I get is, um, you know, hey, I want to see what to do step by step. If you were to market something from scratch, I want to know what that looks like. And I'm doing it right in front of you guys. And for a couple days, I feel like people, they didn't notice or it was just kind of going over a couple people's heads because they, they it's like, I don't know, you see marketing from a brand, but then you don't really think how you could apply it yourselves. And I'm telling you guys to really look at what I'm doing. Don't just look mm -hmm. at, don't just look at the, the things that I'm teasing. Look at all the little details. Look at the wording. Look at the photos. Look at the eye-catching things that I'm using. Uh, look at the landing page. Look at the teasers and how, how... I don't know, nondescript we're being about right. everything. Let's let's answer a couple questions. So. We'll answer questions for like 20 minutes because we got stuff to do. I got to go drop our puppy off and got all kinds of stuff to do. So get a couple of questions in. Amina asked, isn't using healing crystals against Etsy terms of surface? Only if you're selling them under the guise of metaphysical healing. Yeah, you can't say what they're doing. You can call them crystals and you can say things like some people believe or in ancient society, some people you believe that this crystal did. But for, for safety, I just wouldn't claim that they've ever done or do any sort of healing through metaphysical here's properties. The, That's the customer who is searching for a very specific name of a crystal that that customer is probably savvy and knows what the crystal does. Yeah. Otherwise, they're just buying it because it's pretty, and that's fine as well. Um, but if you're if you're selling to savvy crystal buyers, they're going to know why they're buying that crystal. Yep. So. So just be careful. But you can sell crystals on Etsy. You just can't claim that my my stone will answer all your problems. And okay, don't it, do that. We're not claiming <laughs> to know anything about any of that stuff. It's just Etsy doesn't like it. So exactly. Be very careful. It's in their terms of service. It show is. What else we got? I'm still looking around. It's crazy how many people very clearly are for legalization as well. Fight for what you believe in. I don't Pokemon. know. We're not getting any questions. I buy all my crystals from Etsy. And you know exactly what you're buying too, don't you? You probably, you probably type in exactly what you're looking for, or you just feel like typing in something broad and looking at all of the pretties collectively. We've been looking at the, um, the resin pyramids mm -hmm. that have like all the stuff in them. I feel silly buying them though. Cause it's like, I could make stuff. Yeah. But I, I like, I know how to resin mold stuff. He's, he's one of the, have you, are, is anybody else like that where like you, you can see something artsy and you just know how to do it. Or or <laughs> you, you see something and you're like, ooh, I want to make that. <laughs> we're really bad about that with furniture. Where if we're like looking at a furniture store and we'll be like, ooh, $600. Mm, we could make that for less. And yeah, then we, and then we can, never do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I have a question not related to trends. That doesn't, that That's doesn't fine. matter. Um, I was wondering which app Starla used to make the post make fl flexibility your favorite F word. It has beautiful animation on it. Well, I use Canva Pro. I paid for a Canva account. It is expensive. It's like a hundred something dollars a year. I mean, I guess that's not that expensive if you use it all the time. Um, I'm going to be doing a Canva Pro video pretty soon. I was going to do a live stream on it, but I don't feel like there's enough that I could live stream to justify an hour episode of the Friday Bean. So I'm going to record an episode. Um, but that was a Canva template that I just inserted my own stuff into. So, How do you guys prepare for your HAA launches? Is it stressful for y'all? Um, for me, yeah. It definitely is. Uh, so for my preparation, about a month before we set the course live is when I do all of the website updates, all of the plugins and stuff or WordPress. I don't upgrade them the rest of the time throughout the year because it's like a constant thing that they're updating stuff and I don't want to break something. So like a month before we push HAA live, I'll make a staging site and then I will update everything and then I have to go well, through and fix everything that breaks. We did that because one time we, right before a launch, before our first launch, we went to update a plugin. And it broke our payment system. It broke the whole website. Everything was messed up. So then we learned that you need to make a duplicate of your site when you're pushing changes like yeah, that. We had so, no idea. So I go through and I update everything, break the website and then fix it all. Yeah. So we've we've been doing HAA for four, three, three years, years, three years now. Three years. And um, it started out where when we would do a launch, we would basically just pull an all nighter preparing. 
and it was it was really stressful but now we've done it so many times and it's the same with product launches like amber marie and it, i are it is a product launch yeah. I mean, realistically that's we handle it the same way right we uh, we basically teach how to launch in handmade alpha academy and then we follow that as well and even mm -hmm. the the brand that amber and i are developing we've been working on it since november but when it comes to actually like the launch day we're pretty much ready now. Uh, we we could technically launch it right away. The but we keep it fair. We launch at the same time every year. Yeah. So, I'm talking about the brand that Amber and I are doing. Oh. Which is not the same time every year. Cause yeah. It, I was I was just kind of going along with you because I'm definitely not ready to launch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The website oh, is no. not ready. No, no, no. Yeah, we want to do some little some little updates. I can also advise Adobe Spark, the free version. Lots of beautiful graphics. Yeah, a lot of people say Adobe Spark is great. Don't make me do the launch now. I don't have socks on. Okay. Let's see. I really haven't gotten any questions. 160 people here. Don't make me do the launch now. I don't have socks on. I'm not ready. I just read that. <laughs> oh. Well, you don't listen to me, and I don't listen to you. That's that's being see how it is. That's we being gotta, married. We gotta, we gotta leave. Yeah, it's, except it's a whole lot of her not listening to me and me listening to everything she says. Yeah, well, I'll yell at you if you don't listen to me. What I have to say is usually mm -hmm. very important. Yeah. See, the thing is, I've uh, I've started to not give a crap because <laughs> I'm almost thirty now. So we, we uh. I just ignore her now. She I, didn't register. So okay. Yeah, she usually doesn't. That's uh. That's what. That's what you do when you've been married over ten years. Is you just start doing the yes, dear. How many of you guys do that with your your partners? Do you do you yes, dear them at all? And what are they talking about when you give them I, a yes, dear? I'll, if she keeps start keeps talking, like when I walk out of a room, I'll just keep walking and pretend I didn't hear it. She does the same thing to me. <laughs> <laughs> Especially you, if he's talking about video games. I'm like, yes, dear. Can uh -huh. you point me to how to on funneling traffic from a Facebook live chat to my Etsy page? I drop links to my listings, but still lose people. That's a really, that's, that's a really specific question. Funneling, tra I mean, if you're in a, if you're doing like a Facebook live video and people aren't going to your listing, then they're probably not interested in what you're doing. So it doesn't sound so much like, it sounds more like you need to improve your online presence and that if you're doing a Facebook Live, you might want to work on your presentation a little bit because we're kind of, we're, for example, if I were to put a link in the chat right now, there's like a 90% a chance that at least half of the viewers would go click on it. But that's because we've built a really great connection with them. However, if you're kind of new to your audience and they don't know who you are and they, they kind of feel suspicious of that link. You got to build that identity first. Exactly. And it takes a little bit of time. So what I would say is that if you're doing Facebook Lives, do them often, do them frequently, and make sure that you're watching some videos on how to improve your overall presentation online. Um, practice is the only way that you're going to get better. There's no way that you can research how to have better online presence because if you're not practicing it, it, it just doesn't get better. Um, I would say just start doing it frequently and, and don't be afraid to to not have people watch. Our first few videos didn't have a lot of viewers, but we treated it like we had several thousand. And to this day, you know, there are some times when we hop on and we've got a hundred people and there are some times we hop on and we've got 300 people. But we treat it the same way every time. Yep. You get better with time. So yeah, you'll, you'll get better at streaming. And that, that'll that build trust, and then more and more people will be willing to click that link. You taking the pups on the trip. Nope. Beans is at her mom's, and yep. Amy, excuse me, Amy goes to a really, a really nice kennel. I know a lot of people don't like animals being kenneled but this is a really nice one where they actually get to play outside they go on walks and it's like a doggy hotel yeah it's like a hotel for them it's, it's really nice and she's been there like three times and she doesn't seem like she's in distress when we pick her up she's usually pretty happy though this time she's getting a bath when she comes home so she will be very upset <laughs> <laughs> which etsy category should crochet baby you blanket? did i yeah oh our group board's still good for promoting um i don't think that I don't think it's a matter of if group boards are promoting are good for promoting. I think it's more you have to find the right group boards because some group boards are going to be dead ends and some of them are going to get more traffic than others. Um, I think that what you should do is look at a group board and see how many pins within that group board have gathered repins. I'm not really great with Pinterest because I don't use it very much, um, not for business at least. So I would say that 
you just kind of, I, I mean, here's the thing. Is it going to hurt your business? No. So should you try it? I mean, if you've got the time, yeah, absolutely. I don't think you should spend all your time on it if you're not seeing success from it, but nothing's going to go wrong and it probably isn't going to take very long to, to, you know, be penned within a group board or to request to join a group board. So why not? I mean, it's one of those things that is low energy and it's evergreen. Mm -hmm. So once you do it, the products are there and yeah. you don't have to maintain if you got it. if you've got extra time and you've got low energy stuff like that that you can do just do it i yeah. mean the worst that it can do is that you get a sale like the worst you can do is you don't get any sales but if that's the worst thing that could happen then you're then not you're really fine. yeah as long as it's not taking a lot of time which etsy category should crochet baby blankets and other crochet baby items be put into um Clo clothing accessories clothing I th that's a I believe that e rank will tell you where your products should be I wish Pam was here because I can't remember she was here pa I, she, she commented earlier Pam are you here still Pam I would just say clothing no I don't think it's clothing there's a tool that recommends what category that um your products should be in and I only I work for e rank and I don't know that because it's not something that I use because I only make jewelry um I'll have to get back to you on that one because I'm not sure. Mm, I feel like I'm all over the place with what I want to sell and don't know how to niche down because everything doesn't seem to go together. How do you find your niche? Focus more on the person who's buying it. Yes. It's easier to try to find a product to sell to a very specific type of person than it is to try to find a very specific type of person to sell your product to. Um, you need to make sure that there is a market for what you're selling. And unfortunately for most sellers, we think of the product first and then we try to figure out who's going to buy it. And often that is a lot more work than trying to find a gap in the marketplace that you can fill with your product. It's a really great opportunity to choose the type of customer that you want to work with, to choose how old they are, to choose how much money they make, to choose uh, what their overall style is. You, you almost get to pick like what type of person you want to associate with. And not every customer is going to fall into that group, um, but you're not alienating the people who don't by being very specific. If I only wanted to work with, I don't know, Maybe I only want to work with trendy teenagers. Yeah, obviously some, some grandparents are going to buy some of the products for their, their grandkids. But for the most part, maybe I'm only selling things to, to young people and I am able to, I don't know, cater my language to be young and hip and on fleek. Okay, Grandma. I'm just starting to feel old. It's starting to happen. What? What? I'm going to offend somebody. No, I, I, there. I think that you hit a point in your life where you start to come face the reality of your aging. I feel like it's when I'm you hitting. wake up and you're sore, but it's not your muscles; it's your bones. I feel like that's when you're the, like when you're starting to feel old. Like I wake up and my bones hurt. I, I I think it's when I take a selfie and I'm like, oh my god, where did those lines come from? Oh, but anyway, um, yeah, I would start by choosing the customer and then trying to fill a need within their lifestyle um, and maybe line up all the things that you know how to make that you like to make and try to see where they fit into someone's life and if they're going to solve a legitimate problem that someone has. Pam said, keyword tool on e rank shows the most popular categories. Baby blankets is home and living. Blankets, baby blankets. Thank you, Pam. She was here. I told you. Uh, what are your latest thoughts on ads? Speaking of Pam, you should go watch her video on, on ads. My opinion is if they work for you, they work for you. If they don't work, then they don't work. And I know that's kind of a crappy answer, but they're kind of all over the place right now. But Pam did an awesome video. She's in the comments here. Go check out her video on ads on why I don't particularly recommend offsite ads. Pam Duthie, go watch her <laughs> video. It's something about it's, our, it's good. I think the title is something like, Are Etsy Ads Even Legal? And it's Pam going, so find Dramatic. that. It was like, what, last week that you posted it, Pam? Or week before last? Something like that. It was very recent. Go watch that. Yes. Can I block another seller from my Etsy shop? No, because it looks like they're copying my style. So we get this question like once a quarter, maybe, and there's nothing you can do about that. Um, the thing is, like, do you think McDonald's was the first restaurant to sell burgers? No, probably not. They probably also weren't the first chain restaurant to sell burgers either. But 
they made them the best and they were the best at marketing and they were the best at expanding and they were the best at selling their burgers to the people that wanted to buy them. So it's up to you to be the person that's better at selling your product, better at taking your pictures. Pricing at, it higher? Well, not higher, but pricing it I, better. Because I'm, some sometimes higher isn't better because you, and you can get into this cycle of constantly being more expensive and then you're more expensive than everybody in your niche and nobody wants to buy you anymore. So price smart. Um, Off-site marketing needs to be better than theirs. However, I will say if they're just copying and pasting like your entire listings, then you should report them to Etsy. Yeah. Because there's a chance they might report you to Etsy and then Etsy might slip up and cancel you. So. Yeah, I think you can prove that you had your listings there longer. I'm sure, but Etsy support has had some rough spots in the past. So I would, if they're directly copying, like just copying and pasting your exact pictures and your descriptions and stuff like that, then you should report them to Etsy. Get with Etsy support. Boop, 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 boop. With your shop, how often do you update your shop banner? I update mine about every quarter, but wondering if others do it more often. That's a personal choice. I didn't update mine for my shop. I had the same one up for like three years because I liked it so much. Um, I think that it's a personal choice, and if you want to change things up for, you know, for your own sanity, that's fine as well. Just make sure that you're true to your branding and that you love it. That That's the most important thing. Amber Marie just updated her Etsy shop banner. She posted it in the Handmade Alpha Facebook community. So make sure, link down below to the community, but check out how she did it because her banner is phenomenal. Uh, I know some sellers opt in opt to not allow customers to click on their sales to see what's sold. What are your thoughts on this? Um... I think that it depends on if you still offer the items that are sold out. If it's items that are that you have made that you're never going to make again, you might get a lot of inquiries where people ask you mm -hmm. if you can remake that thing. We get that. Uh, and if you can't remake that thing, I would hide your past sold. But if it's stuff that you perpetually have available, I don't see a problem in having the sold items still still there. Um, I, I don't see why anybody would would want to not show what you've sold. Uh, uh, like I said, unless, you know, you make maybe one of a kind products or limited products and you don't want people constantly inquiring on if you can remake them, then yeah, I don't see an issue with it. And uh, Johnny said, that's what sparked the question. He's the one that asked about that. Oh, ads. Yeah. Uh, looks like they have a machine learning opening for their team to going to apply. That's good. I mean, I hope they, I, I hope they hire more people for that because it sounds like that that's kind of what they're doing, but what they have running and what is causing the problem is because it's extremely rudimentary and it's not very good. So I'm glad that they're hiring more people to work on that because in its current state, it shouldn't even be enabled. It should be done by hand. Uh, does HAA help with pricing? Yes, we do have a lesson on pricing, but really what we... It's still a small portion. It's a very small portion. The foundation of HAA is teaching you how to be an alpha brand, a brand that's at the top of your industry. And ultimately what we're teaching you how to do is price the very highest that you possibly can. Um, so it, it's not necessarily the pricing advice that's good there because in HAA, I literally just tell you to price in the top 10% of your industry. But what is where the value is within that is the psychology behind it and um, the, the proven psychology that's going to teach you exactly why those pricing strategies yes. are effective so you should see the shelf full of books that she read to develop all that material and then had to it had to take all of that material and, and apply then, it and, and make sure it worked and apply it to etsy and then figure out how to describe how she applied it to etsy she's got like two bibles worth of bible print text text on standard printer paper Turn, open the second drawer there haa is in there is it the black oh one. yeah if i can get it out because it's so huge. I've got stuff. Make sure that doesn't show addresses on the air. Oh, God. Here's HAA, yo. That is Handmade Alpha. Not bonuses. That's just the modules. This is just the modules without the bonuses. Yeah. Oh, good Lord. Can you see this? It's just, yeah, it's just a lot. Yeah, that's like, the course. And this I, is like Bible print, yo. I wrote that course three years ago, and... Yeah, it was like exactly three years And for years our ago. doubters, Wolf Conservation Society, we do adopt them. We adopt them. Those are our, our certificates. Did you just now find those in there? Yeah. What? Oh, there goes our mic. I didn't know 
What what Sorry, am I gonna guys. do? What am I gonna do with our wolf adoption certificates? Frame them like. Might as well frame them. Why not? Uh, I've just got them in a drawer. Uh, Wolf Conservation Center of South Salem, New York. Make sure that you check them out. That's where we donate our money from our Amazon affiliate program that is linked to the Alpha Library within Handmade Alpha Academy. Apparently, we didn't get a lot of book sales last year, so we're no, we didn't. I mean, we got a few. We need to we need to push that a little bit harder because we, we donate one hundred percent of the money we make and there. And we can't really talk about it here on YouTube, so enough of that. We can talk about it. We just can't they link. They don't. Yeah, they don't like it. Yeah. Anyway, okay. Anyway, do you have advice for... Yeah, that it was big tech companies like Linus Tech Tips and stuff that were responsible for that because they always put affiliate... They made, like, no. most of their money from affiliate sales. They made millions a year in affiliate sales, and YouTube was like, no, we can't be involved in this. Um, do you have any advice for sourcing good wholesale companies to work with? Currently trying to bring my cost of materials down. I think it depends on what you're looking for. Yeah, a lot of people go um, and look up trade shows uh for that specific thing you don't have to look at trade shows in your area just find a trade show that's special if you like maybe you make i don't know blankets and you need to find a good fabric supplier um look for fabric trade shows anywhere in the world and look at the list of uh of vendors that are going to be at that trade show and that's a good way to find different suppliers uh that was that was a renee strategy that she promoted and then i would say that um I know that this is kind of a weird way to do it, but if I receive something that I know came through like a print company or an external supply company where parts of something that I've ordered have been sourced, I will get inside and look at the tag of that item to see like, okay, what, what factory, what manufacturer name, what, what does the tag say? Mm -hmm. Um, I did that when I ordered from Look Human. I wanted to know exactly, they do print on demand. And I'm like, what type of t-shirts are they using? Because I really like the softness of their shirts. And I got the exact name of the uh, the brand of t-shirts that they source. So, Johnny said, isn't it like a month long too? Are you talking about HA? Because it's, how many hours did we say it was? Isn't it like a month long? 16, it was 16 last... Uh, so I think 16 hours and then 19 before. with bonuses. I think it was 19 hours with bonuses. Don't quote me on that. Yeah. Amber said, fair.com for wholesale. F-A-I-R-E. Oh, thank you, Amber. Com. Amber also said, if you order with the link, anything you purchase within 30 minutes sends the affiliate money to. Yeah, if you, if you click on our affiliate link and then you go to Amazon and buy a bunch of stuff, we'll get a small percentage. So if you're going to buy a TV for your house anytime soon, use our affiliate link and then buy the TV because we get like a 5% pushback for that so. we donate it all we, do, we literally donate everything that we get from amazon so <laughs> that that was for etsy ad my other part might have gotten cut off or out of order i don't know yeah it must have gotten cut off i'm not sure get it through quick though because we're ending in like a minute one minute because we, we got to take the doggy to the dog hotel go ahead and get our spoof out of the way if you're not subscribed yet make sure you click that subscribe button and then click the like button Click the little bell icon to get notified when we go live and when we post videos. And then, like, click the dislike button if you're a loser. Like, Yeah. We, you make us make us cry. If you're a baby poo-poo head loser, click the down, down thumb. Well, here's the thing, guys. Every like is a scritch for bubbers. So if you dislike this video, it's like you're taking a scritch away from Sweet Bubbers. who is. He's sleeping up on top of Mark's computer. And subscribing is free. So, like, even if you're here for the first time and you're not sure if you like our content, there's a good chance if you don't subscribe, it won't pop up for you anymore. So, yeah. subscribe, come here, ask questions, do what you want. We had 150 people here, and, and I know 150 people didn't comment or ask questions. So, Hello. subscribe. Click the like, number 60. All right, guys. Well, I think that we'll go ahead and scoodle do because we got to get ready for our awesome trip. But uh, like I said, there are freebies down below. If you want to follow me and Amber Marie building a brand from scratch, make sure that you also sign up for the Elf Adapt list. That is going to have the black heart emojis down below. Um, and feel free to follow me on Instagram to probably see some pictures from our weekend. My Maybe. Instagram name is Starla, the letter K, and more. No, it isn't. It is. That's it what is. it is. Well, All we right. love you guys. We're going to go have fun. i got to go drop the drop the puppy off and pick up cat food and 
pack my bags and all that stuff. Stay safe, wear your mask, drink some water, and call your mom if you can. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>